Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Opening day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup between the Colorado Rockies and the San Diego Padres. Over the offseason, this organization embraced a new look, hoping maybe that can change the course of the franchise. For more, let's turn to Heidi Watney. Now you can see the new look for this team. Some fresh gear. And it's not just the fans who are excited about the new look. Several players proudly sent out photos of their new unis on social media earlier today. Now that the cosmetic changes are done, we'll see if it translates to great play on the field. The games count starting now. Opening day on MLB Network. And it's coming up next. Chris Paddock gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? We're looking at a pretty good pitcher right here. ERA under 3.5 last season, and there are a lot of teams in baseball that would love to have this guy in the rotation. Very solid and very dependable. Here's Juan Ligares. It leads things off here in the bottom half of the first. The pitch. And that's waved at. <laughs> Lifted down the line and left. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Ligares is a guy you have to keep an eye on in the batter's box. He's definitely Got been no known to now. drop down a bunt from time to time. That's something he's really good at. And in today's game, Matty, this is such a lost art. I know you love this one. Guy dropping a drag bunt down for a knock, putting him up, putting him down, getting down to first baseline, definitely sets the tone for the team. And with strike three recorded there, he's notched his first career major league strikeout. Well, Matt, if he can become a consistent strikeout pitcher, you have to figure his career is going to end up being a solid one. All the best pitchers at this level have at least one pitch that they can go into in tough situations. So we'll see if he becomes one of those guys as his career goes along. Now the pitch. Eric Hosmer comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Mike Fillmore. Hey, d -Roll, Mike Fillmore, one of the most hey, consistent right umpires throughout the league. Both pitchers and position players love this guy. Yeah, I think one of the Whoa, best in the business. Exact. How I judge a good teammate is every day he opens that door, is he consistent? Can I count on him? Mike Fillmore is the exact same way behind the dish. Swing and a miss on the okay. fastball, it's and it's one and two. two. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. Batting third. No left fielder. Tommy. Into the box, Tommy Pham. And he'll take a look at ball one. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Fam with an even one and one count one now. Ball, well, he's just two outs into his major league debut on the mound, and so far he doesn't seem nervous or like he's trying to do too much. That's easier said than done. Two down, two down. 
Here we go, boys. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. Padres down in order. We are still scoreless. Last half of the second set to go. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Fernando Tatis Jr. Fernando Tatis. First offering on its way. Mm, a little tardy oh, there. No Miguel. balls and a strike. Go out here, huh? Late decision to swing yeah. that time, okay. and as a result, it's 0-2. Interested to see what the pitcher go, goes to Let's now. Go. After getting that late hack on the curveball, does he speed him up with some velocity? Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Grounded one, one, one. weakly down the line toward third. Oh, and no time to get him at first. Not with his speed, and that'll go down as an infield single. I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint, but nice execution, nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, Dero, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher, and there's not right there you make a pretty good pitch and the next thing you know you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball hey nobody out nobody out hey first pitch strike get ahead right here here's the first pitch to him Manny Machado swings and misses oh, and there one. so he's down 0 and 1 has a look now the pitch He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Wow, his stuff looks electric coming out of the gates in this one, guys. That's five batters faced, four strikeouts. That's going to be a tough pace to keep up, but it looks like he has what it takes to work deep into this game. Batting pitch. The right fielder. Where? Here's Will Myers. Behind on that one. Now behind in the count, 0-1. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Roll it up right here. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Hey, we got one. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. That is that. The second base Here's Brian Dozier now. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Come on, fellas, let's go. Behind 0 and 2 now. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. One left for San Diego. We'll move to the third with no score. Striding in for the Rockies, Vaughn Harris, 9 1 and 2 do up. Hey, one pitch. Harris. Make it yours. First pitch on its way. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Unbelievable. A home run. 
I don't believe what I just saw. I don't believe what I just saw. So a solo shot here to left center field. First home run of the campaign for him. And the Rockies are out to a 1-0 lead. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in the game. Bottom of the third now, and digging in is the switch hitting catcher, Francisco Mejia. Francisco Mejia. First pitch of the at bat. A ball and no strikes. Swing and a miss for strike one. Hey, nobody. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. It's a two and two count to the Padres catcher. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. And that's ball three now as it just misses below the zone. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation now? to move the runner into scoring position. 3-2 pitch. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Boy, this guy has really good stuff so far on this one. How about seven Ks and we're just in the middle innings of this one. If he continues this up, this could be a real solid performance. Batting nine. The pitcher. To the plate now, Chris Paddock. Paddock. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Got one out here. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. All right, here we go now. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. That's back-to-back -back punch outs, and he's really starting to rack them up now, guys. I've got eight strikeouts in my scorebook for him now, so he's got good stuff. Now back At the plate, Juan Ligaris. One. As he'll go Barrett. after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Plays a one here. Ah. Mm, really dotting the corners here with the fastball. 0 and 2. I'm out. And with a big pitch here, he'll step off and rethink things. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for San Diego. They're down one nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And Ready next to bat will be the first up, baseman, Eric Hosmer. The first baseman, Eric Hosmer. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss out in oh, front no of a changeup. I'd like to see this lineup hey, start working yeah, the count one. a little bit more and drive up this pitcher's pitch count. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. Digging in now for San Diego. Tommy Pham looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Here we go, right now. Now here's the pitch. Nope. Ball one. One out, nobody on.
in for a strike. It's one and one. We got one here. One and two now. I got to count one and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Drilled to first. Murphy has it. And he'll step on first himself for the out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up steps the big bat of Fernando Tatis Jr. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a miss on a pitch below the knees. One strike. In today's game, with velocity and exploding breaking stuff, you have to find a way to control the strike right, zone as a unit. They haven't been able to do that today, swinging at way too many pitches outside the zone. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Hey, this he's is an amazing right inning right here, attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested, chance to get off the field super quick. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Padres down in order. It remains one nothing. So right, here now is the pitcher, Vaughn Harris. He went deep in his first oh. at bat. We'll see what he's got Garrett. in store for us here. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down. Other than that. First pitch of the at bat. Oh, and now look at this. The pitcher gives one a ride to deep left. Unbelievable. A home run. I don't believe what I just saw. I don't believe what I just saw. A solo shot here to left. His second of the game as the Rockies have taken a two to nothing lead. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of it. Here's Manny Machado now as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And that's swung on and missed for strike one. Nobody down here. And a ball popped foul to the right side, out of play. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. One ball, two strikes. Hey, come on, guys. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there to try to be a this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes. And right now, we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. The right so here's Will Myers. Four. Where? As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. Looking at his career totals, Myers has a slugging percentage a little over 425, a respectable number. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0-2 pitch. Uh, and he's just rolling right now and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. So bases are empty here with two gone and that'll now bring up the power second hitting baseman. second baseman Brian oh, yeah. Dozier. Dozier. Hey two here. First pitch coming here it is. 
And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Right there, and it's quickly 0 and 2 now. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Plays that first here. Two quick strikes, and now the 0 2. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for San Diego. They trail it here, two to nothing. Next to the plate for the Padres, Francisco Mejia. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent today. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. No balls in one strike. Let's go now. Let's go. Oh, good two. knuckle curve, 0-2. Oh Sometimes two, you just can't overthink it. If a guy can't hit a certain pitch in a certain quadrant, why would you throw him anything else? Case in point, this guy's cold zone is away, and this pitcher keeps attacking that exact spot. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches, great command, great location. And the big key, with two strikes, he's attacking the zone. Greg Garcia will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Hitting for the Padres. Number five, Greg Garcia. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw to Murphy's in time, and there are two gone now. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Juan Lagares. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this. Hey, I know it's a day game, but these guys better wake up. He's on point today, throwing a lot of exploding stuff, darting and diving all over the strike zone. In there at the knees, 0-2 now. There seem to be different philosophies on it, so Dan, what was your approach in 0-2 counts? My philosophy is this. I, I think the Go last guys. thing you want to do is throw non-competitive pitches, Matt. Throw something down in the zone or just out of the ball zone, but something there. way out of the zone doesn't serve any purpose. A ball and two strikes now. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Here he comes again, one, two. To third. Gloved by Arenado. Throw to Murphy, will take care of him, and that'll end the inning. Padres down in order. They're still down. It's two nothing. Into the box now is the Colorado pitcher, Vaughn Harris. Already two for two. He'll look to add on right here. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. It's last that bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. Get your pitch on. First pitch on its way. Swung on. Hit in the air. And deep. Got a chance. And gone. A solo shot here to left. His third home run of the ball game. And the Rockies have now taken a 3 to nothing lead. Well, talk about having a day. Three home runs in one game. We've heard about the hat trick in hockey, but it's awfully hard to do that in the baseball game.
Into the box, Eric Hosmer. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. First pitch coming. Here it is. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Ball one, no strike. All right, come on now. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. and oh. The rest of the lineup could learn a thing or two from this at bat. This guy's been really patient. Now he's in the driver's seat, sitting with the 2-0 count. One Swing and a miss, 2-1. and one. Two and two. I got to count. Two and Even two. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's velo is still top notch. This guy's a horse. Here now the two two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. He showed right there why having a good changeup is so valuable. Two and two, and he flips one up there that the bottom really falls out at the last minute. It's so hard to pick up, and it's even harder to make good contact with. Now back. And now, Tommy Pham. Tommy. And he just keeps there. rolling along as he starts another batter out with strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The wind up and the 0 1. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. He's still looking great to me out there on the mound. Punched out the first guy in the seventh, and he's jumped ahead in the count right here. Looks like he could stay in this game a while longer. Trying to send him packing for the second time. This is chopped down the third baseline, but this will wind up foul. Still 0 and 2. Lays off that time, and it's one and two. No runs, just one hit. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. Struck him out. Strikeout number 16 thus far, as he's had a whale of a ballgame. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Now batting. Not Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. Hey, two down here. Set to deliver the 0-1. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. So far, this go. has been a terrific outing for this guy. Throwing well, keeping his pitches to a... And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking him up. Three up, three down for San Diego. They trail in this one, three nothing. Bottom of the inning now. And set to go is the third baseman, Manny Machado. The third baseman, Manny Hey, nobody out now. First pitch of the at bat. Swing and a miss on the slurve. Strike one. Something that stood out to me in this game is the lineup's lack of a solid plan at the plate. Seems like way too many guys are chasing pitches out of the zone and trying to hit pitchers' pitchers like that one down and away. There's no success in that. I got the count. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Hey, just you and him. Get him yourself. Now a swing and a One. ball headed for Murphy over there at first. Oh. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Digging in, Will Myers. The it's right been an 0 for Number 2 four. effort for him to this point. Will Myers. 
go now. Let's go. Let's go. Here's the first pitch to him. Lifted in the air to center field. Owings is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Brian Dozier at the plate. Two away here in the eighth, and time's now running out on him, Danny. The yeah, they don't have a lot of outs oh, left yeah. to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Go, fellas, let's go. Here comes the first pitch. No runs, just one hit. No errors in the ball game for the Padres. Uh, no plate discipline oh, that do. time, and he's in the hole now. 0 oh 2. Ball one. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Two the outs. Count is one here. and two. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him. Padres down in order. Still down three nothing. Vaughn Harris will stride in again as he looks to join a very elite list. We take you back to earlier. This was home run number three in the ball game as he'll try and join just a select few with four home runs in a single game. Watch up, drive him in for us. First offering on its way. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Back goes Lagares. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Rocky strand one, but they lead it three nothing. All set for the bottom of the ninth, and now it'll be the catcher, Francisco Mejia. Francisco Mejia. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0-2. Hey, get him yourself right here. Still no balls and two strikes. One, this one, is one. on the ground over to first. Taken in by Zobrist. And they won't have a play as he reaches it first. Let's see how this is scored. I know it wasn't pretty right there, Dan, but that has to frustrate the pitcher. Lead-off guy, anytime he gets on, usually creates a problem. And you know what, Dero? It's especially tough You're when you get it, as late in the game as we are right now. Padres. Anytime Number you get that lead-off guy on and have that pitcher start pitching out of the stretch, it always puts more stress on that pitcher pitching out of the stretch. In there, strike one. Oh, one. Here's the pitch right by him no here. Ball, and he's set strike. up for another strike out here. The count to oh and two. This is part of what makes him one of the best pitchers in the game. He pounds strikes and his stuff is really tough to make contact with. And when you fall behind oh and two, good luck. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Now here's a ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Blackman whoa, going whoa, back whoa. onto the party porch and gone. A two-run blast to straightaway right field as it's now a 3-2 ball game.
comes manager Bud Black out of the dugout heading for the mound. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. So a good job all in all this afternoon and as it stands he can only win this one as he departs with a one run lead. You're Scott right, Ober comes out of the bullpen now, to shut things down ball. here in the ninth. Number 45. Number 45. Scott, Scott Ober. Ober. The center fielder, number seven, Juan. Standing in now, Juan Ligaris as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 1. Bases are empty here, nobody out. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 2 now. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's slider is so good, I think he might throw it again. So it's a backwards K on the changeup that time. Juan Ligaris is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. First baseman Eric Hosmer is in. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner. It's 0 and 1. Lifetime against this particular arm. He's 1 for 5. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now. 0 and 2. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese, swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Into the box now, Tommy Pham. As he tries to go out and get the slider, but it's not there. It's strike one. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. And that's taken for strike two as no now ball. they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. Hey, and the beat goes on. That's number eight. Fans on their feet in a one-run ball game in the last of the ninth. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not catch. And a nice job here to come in and slam the door. That's his first save of the season, but it certainly won't be his last. A one-run game this afternoon, 3-2 to two the final finish. The Rockies led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Vol the year as he turns in eight strong innings of work. Scott Oberg strikes out the side to record the save, his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. The final line the final for the ball game, the ball this, game afternoon. this afternoon for the victorious, for the victorious Rockies. Rockies. Three runs Three on runs nine, nine hits. Hit. No errors. No they air. left they 10 men on base. For the Padres.